Braking System. This bus has three sets of independent braking systems, namely service braking device. The service braking device consists of dual circuit drum wheel brake or front disc rear drum brake. Parking braking device. The parking braking device adopts the hand control valve to control the spring brake of the rear wheel brake chamber. Auxiliary braking device. The auxiliary braking device consists of retarder, hydraulic retarder, and exhaust brake. Service brake. During driving, step on the brake pedal to slow down. Parking brake. Pull out the parking brake control valve lever along the axle direction, and then pull backward the control lever to engage the brake. Pull out the parking brake control valve lever along the axle direction, and then push forward the control lever to release the brake. When the parking brake control valve is at the parking braking position, the parking brake indicator will light up. Attention! Before the engine is started, please engage the parking brake to prevent the vehicle from moving and cause personal and property damage. Always check whether the parking brake control valve is engaged. ABS system. Once turn on the starting switch, the ABS indicator lights up instantly for about three seconds, and then goes out, which indicates the ABS system is in working condition. If the indicator remains on, it means the ABS system is malfunctioning. Attention! When bus is in motion, if the red ABS warning indicator is on, it means the bus has serious malfunction. In that case, please stop the bus and bring it to the local service station for repair. The bus can be operated only after the problem is resolved. Telma retarder. Control mode. Two control modes are available: handle control and pedal control. Handle controlled retarder. Start the bus. The retarder has four working positions: first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear. After use, these gears will return to zero positions one by one. Attention, one. When the retarder is used, there must be one second interval before pulling backward each gear. Do not pull the gear suddenly to the bottom. Two. After used, the retarder must return to zero positions before restart. Three. The retarder can neither replace the braking function nor stop the bus. Four. The retarder doesn't work when the bus speed is between two to ten kilometers per hour. In that case, the service brake must be used to stop the bus. Pedal controlled retarder. The four gears of retarder can be started in sequence only by stepping the brake pedal slightly. The braking system generally works when the retarder is at second or third gear position. Attention. One. Step on the brake pedal. The retarder starts braking. The bus speed reduces significantly. The retarder working indicator is on, and the stop light lights up. Two. As the bus speed reduces, the retarder stops working when it's lower than the critical speed, about three kilometers per hour. Three. Under the non-emergency braking situation, try to step on the pedal slightly to maximum the efficiency of retarder and prolong the life of brake shoes. Turka retarder. After turning on the ignition switch, the red power indicator lights up, indicating that the power supply for retarder is ready. When the bus is running at certain speed, about two. To 10 kilometers per hour, 
the green ready light is turned on. Otherwise, there is a malfunction. Handle control retarder. After pushing forward the retarder control handle in sequence, the retarder will operate in different gear positions, and the three groups of working indicators will light on correspondingly. Attention. One. When the retarder is used, there must be one second interval before pulling back another gear. Do not pull the gear suddenly to the bottom. Two. After use, the retarder must return to zero position before restart. Three. The retarder can neither replace the braking function nor stop the bus. Four. The retarder doesn't work when the bus speed is lower than two to ten kilometers per hour. In that case, the service brake must be used to stop the bus. Pedal controlled retarder. According to different angles the driver steps on the pedal, the retarder will operate in different gear positions, and the three groups of working indicators will light on correspondingly. As the bus speed reduces. The retarder stops working when the speed is between the critical speed, about two to ten kilometers per hour. Attention. One. Step on the brake pedal. The retarder starts braking. The bus speed reduces significantly. The retarder working indicator is on, and the stop light lights up. Two. As the bus speed reduces. The retarder stops working when it is lower than the critical speed, about three kilometers per hour. Three. Under the non-emergency braking situation, try to step on the pedal slightly to maximize the efficiency of retarder and prolong the life of brake shoes.